What is going on, good people? <laughs> Father, off. <laughs> oh, he is going on Xena. What is going on, good people? What's happening with you? Um, today is what? Vlogmas day four. Um, I did not put up a video yesterday because I didn't have any footage to give you guys. I literally, basically, pretty much, for the most part, did nothing. So, there was just not a need. So, here I am coming to you Monday morning. Taking the kid to school. Hi. We late. Extra late. Because my alarm clock did not go off. And I should have known something was wrong because I was sleeping a little bit too good. I was so cozy and comfy under my warm covers and yeah, alarm clock didn't go off. So when I checked it, the actual alarm was cut off. How it got cut off? I don't know because I never cut my alarm off unless it's like I'm on vacation or it's a long weekend. Like last weekend. Um was thanksgiving so i had like um that girl looked just like tamika no that's not her anyway sidetrack um last weekend was thanksgiving weekend black friday weekend and i had um five days off work so of course i cut it off yeah this was just a regular Megla Degla weekend and my alarm got cut off and I don't know how and I don't know why because I certainly did not cut it off but nonetheless it is what it is and you don't need to get mad about it because I can't change it and she already late so it is what it is anyway we're moving forward we're headed to school and uh, hopefully this will be the start of a great week and we hope that you are having a wonderful and blessed week as well so we'll talk to you guys later. You got anything you want to say to the people? Um, happy Thanksgiving. Girl, bye. Thanksgiving gone. Goodbye. Y'all, I'm back home. I dropped the girl off. And um, y'all, I'm struggling. Disregard my face. Disregard the, 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 the beeping, whatever it's called. Smoke alarm, child. This, see, that. Disregard that. Um... Oh, I need to wash my face. I need to do a lot of things. I need to get ready for work. That's what I'm doing. But y'all, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to wear because I'm getting an award today. And I can't go up in front of my whole company looking foolish. I mean, I don't never look foolish when I go to work. But you know how you want a little extra spiffy? Okay, that's where I'm at. So I don't know what I'm going to wear. I'm thinking about wearing this purple shirt and these gray slacks. My dilemma is always my shoes. My shoes kind of sort of guides the outfit. Am I the only person that does that? If you do that, leave a comment below. But yeah, my my shoes guide the outfit. So if the shoes ain't right, I can't wear the outfit. So I'm stuck, but I don't have a whole lot of time. I gotta go. So yeah. Um, let me figure this out. And I guess I'll probably holler at y'all when I'm in the car. Let me come up with a topic too while I'm thinking about it. jump right into today's topic today's topic is going to be what is the meaning of Christmas to you not the meaning that is in the textbooks not the meaning that's you know on Wikipedia what does Christmas mean specifically to you I asked this 
question because just last night I was talking to my daughter and she posed the question of she said mommy why do so many people hate Christmas and of course that was something that I could not answer for her but it got me to thinking like about a lot of different things and things that I've some things that I recently heard people say um about how they just really don't celebrate Christmas and I think and again it's just me thinking without asking them I think they get caught up in the fact that you know supposedly it's a pagan holiday and all this other stuff but I don't know for me and my household me and my family in general we love Christmas like it's nothing better than Christmas but for me personally I love the spirit of the holidays I really do um, I'm like a kid in a candy store like I just thoroughly enjoy the spirit and the joy of everything um, I'm you know I'm an adult I have a kid I don't really get gifts at all my mom might give me something but for the most part I don't receive anything on Christmas and it is still my favorite holiday it was my favorite holiday as a child and it's still my favorite holiday as an adult I really get caught up in the family traditions that we have and I thoroughly enjoy them like there is I mean there's like no greater reward for me than to see my family happy and full of joy on Christmas morning but even just leading up to it like again I just get into the spirit of the holidays I enjoy watching Christmas movies I enjoy um, putting up a tree as a kid my family made sure that we had a tree every single year every every year and you know it was a big deal going to get the um, the decorations and the lights and stuff out of um, out of the shed and just going through and putting stuff up it was a big deal for us to go around to the different neighborhoods that you know took the time out to put up all of these decorative and elaborate <laughs> elaborate and intricate um you know decorations and and stuff and we just took joy in that like we just like just doing little stuff like that i mean we bake goods and you know we couldn't wait for Santa to come and we don't get caught up in Santa per se himself but we just we enjoy just all of the, the the little things that make Christmas so spirit filled and for me I guess it's just about how you were raised like I'm so grateful and thankful that I was raised the way that I was um, because I have so many fond memories of Christmas of just the whole time leading up to Christmas anytime after Thanksgiving is 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 Christmas basically <laughs> it's, it's 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 leading up to and I just enjoyed it and I still enjoy it as an adult again I don't get gifts or if I do you know it's it's one maybe two things but for the most part it's just me enjoying my family I so enjoy my mother and let me tell you why my mom raised me as a single parent and of course with the help of her family my family but my father was not there my father was never there but that's another story for another time if y'all want to hear but um he was not around and so I remember my mom struggling I remember my mom working two and three jobs at a time and just sacrificing a lot for me but let me tell you something growing up I didn't I didn't realize it I didn't realize what was going on because literally I didn't miss a beat I did not miss anything from my childhood um, I didn't miss a father figure because I have a ton of uncles I had at the time like seven uncles and um some have since passed away but anyway um yeah and you know because my mom worked so hard and so much because you know of my aunts and my uncles and my grandmother like I never went without anything anything like they supply all of my needs and wants and much more and I'm so grateful and thankful for that. 
but it did hit me in probably my mid-teens that you know my mom was struggling because i used to ask her like you know why do you get me all this stuff and you never get stuff for yourself and that was her just sacrificing and just being a mom you know what i mean a good mom and she was just like as long as you have what you need and what you want i'm good and that, that brought her joy and now you know well i told myself then that if i ever came into a, a situation or a position to where i was able to do for my mom and help my mom now don't get me wrong i'll never ever ever be able to repay my mother for all the things that she did for me and sometimes still continues to do for me but i always told myself if i was ever in a financial position to where i was able to do for my mom i would absolutely do that and now that i am in that position that's what i do and i always have done that um since I was like 18. 18 is when I got my first job. But I've always just gone out of my way to do whatever I can for my mom. But specifically on Christmas and probably her birthday. I shower my mom with whatever I can. Whatever I think that she may love. Whatever I think that would bring a, a, a smile to her face. That would warm her heart. That is what I do. And I'm more so happy to see it with my mom than I am with my daughter even though I you know I, I'm happy to see it with my kid too but it's just that knowing and, and thinking back about all the stuff that my mom did like it just it makes me just feel so good to watch her on Christmas morning open up all these presents um that are up under our tree and she's just elated like it just it just brightens my spirit it makes my day and that's really all I want for Christmas, you know what I mean? So yeah, um, I don't know. That's just what Christmas means to me in, in a kind of a shortened, abridged version. But you guys let me know in the comment section below what Christmas means to you. And if you're one of these people that does not like Christmas, let me know why you don't like Christmas. Like what is it about Christmas itself that just you despise? and i'll be sure to report back to my daughter about why people don't like christmas so anyway um thanks for watching this video we appreciate you please comment like and subscribe and i will see you in tomorrow's video have a good day bye